Hey guys, welcome back. Tell you what, I've been wanting to do this video for a while. I did it about a year ago inside on the Emerald 360 air fryer setup. And I'm gonna do it today outside on the Weber kettle using the Vortex. Kentucky Fried Chicken, guys. Uh, I ran across, like I said, about a year or so ago, the recipe a family member found was what's supposed to be the Colonel's famous 11 herbs and spices. And I believe it's actually pretty close, but I want to try it out here. I want to do it on the Weber kettle. And but first we got to get things prepped up and get this uh, chicken marinated in some buttermilk. I think I did a milk and egg wash last time and there's some controversy about whether he used the milk and egg wash or just plain buttermilk. So we're going to try it in buttermilk, see how close we get. Let's get going. You guys, I don't know if you see up there. It's got uh, four drumsticks here and four chicken thighs. They're a little bit smaller than what I normally see around here, but uh, these come from Porter Row. And their chickens are not jacked up on steroids like some of these you get in your box stores. So uh, we're gonna give these a shot and make some great KFC chicken. All right guys, we're not gonna season these advance in advance at all, because basically the kernel did not. All the seasoning be in the breading. We're gonna get all these in this one gallon Ziploc bag. It's a freezer bag. Not wait to get these on the grill here in a few hours. Hey guys, I just got a little buttermilk here. I'm assuming one of these little containers would be enough. I got a backup just in case. I can get it open. Probably gonna be plenty. All right, guys, we'll let this marinate for about two hours, maybe two and a half, and we'll get this seasoned up and get her on the grill. All right, guys, let's get on to make our batter up here. Uh, that's we're doing the 11 herbs and spices. I'm starting with two cups of just all-purpose flour and I'll have the exact measurements down in the, uh, the video description uh, For anyone who wants to try this I do encourage it because it's really good, but we're going to get started here with just some white salt We'll follow it up with some thyme And we got to come in this is some basil And oregano Let's see, what was that, oregano, and then we got some uh, black pepper, or, I'm sorry, celery salt. Black pepper. Exact measurements in the description, guys. Dried mustard. And got a double whammy of this. This is uh, just paprika. Some garlic salt. Ground ginger. And the most pungent thing in there some white pepper. Hey guys, we're just gonna get this mixed up. I'll probably just shake this up real good. And we'll get the bread and some chicken. It just smells like KFC. <laughs> I'm just gonna grab two or three of these. Shake some of that buttermilk off. Start with the legs there. I think I can probably fit three of them in there. Just get our lid on. I'm already making a mess. All right, we're just gonna give this guy a shake. here. I'm going to come in with my hands here. That just looks too good. Now I'm excited. Just show you one more time. It's that easy. 
that last leg in there. I don't know if I can get three. Maybe I can get third one in there. All right, guys. I'm gonna finish these up. We'll take this to our next step. All right, guys. Because we are baking these, essentially, we need a little oil on here to help crisp up that uh, that batter and skin. I'm just using some Pam cooking spray, and we're just gonna hit these up a little bit with some of this spray, just to get a little oil on them. It'll help get that good golden KFC color we're looking for. When I put them on the grill, I'll turn them over and we'll hit the other side. Hopefully not blow the place up. All right guys, we are pretty close here. Let's get this thing dumped. Pull this up. We'll set our vortex in as centered as we can get it. Let's see if we can dump this straight down the middle. Get our grate on here and getting things heated up. I did not realize it at the time. It appears I'm a little off center. I'm gonna come over and keep most of these on this side. I'm gonna turn the, the already sprayed side down on these. Try to regulate. It's a little, little hotter than I want at the moment, but I think we can adjust that down as we go here. And we're going to carefully spray these. And I mean carefully. While we were off camera, I did spray the grates a little bit just to try to keep them no sticking there. All right, guys, we'll check back in about 15 minutes or so. All right, guys, we are 15 minutes in. I'm gonna take a look at this. Everything's looking good. I'm not gonna change anything, but I am gonna turn them. really good I love what I see getting a little mark I would expect a few markings from the uh, grill grates that's okay that's okay finally get my temperatures where about I want them all right guys I'll be back in another 15 minutes just to see where we are I'm gonna check some temps after I turn these over. Loving what I see. in some great color. I don't know that we're completely done yet. We're certainly gonna check them. Let's get that nice golden color of the Kentucky Fried Chicken. But I think we got a little bit to go. Let me check here. Well, we're not too far. 161 there. The smaller piece might be closer. Stay off the bone. One said that small piece is pretty close. We're very close, guys. If this were breast, we'd be pulling them, but uh, I kind of want these to go up on up to 175. Just a little bit longer. All right, guys, as you can see, I don't know how well the lighting is here since the sun has set. I'm going to give these guys one more flip. I have a couple that is being stubborn. We're almost done. I'm hitting temps like 175. I kind of want to get them up to like 185. A couple of them are already there and I'm going to pull them back away. Like those two there. We're going to go just maybe another five or so minutes and then we're going to pull them off. Alright guys, come out here and look at that. Get over here. Did you look at that? Is that not beautiful? Let's go ahead and plate up here. Uh, 
This is not KFC coleslaw, but it is some coleslaw that I picked up today at the deli. And picked up, I don't even know what it's called. This is some other pasta salad that I picked up also. Mama likes it, so I got some. How about that for a plate, guys? Hey guys, let's check out that drumstick there. You know, it's got that little, it's got the golden brown of the good Kentucky Fried Chicken color, which I fully expect. Uh, it's a little rusty because it did come off the Weber cattle and not out of a fryer. So let's give this thing a taste. That is, you can definitely tell it's cooked outdoors. No question. It's got that KFC flavor. It's very close. I'm still, I'll, I'll be honest with you guys, I believe this is the recipe. And if I could cook this in the same manner that KFC does, that, uh, that deep fried, that uh, I guess the pressure fryer that they use, I think sets it in. Uh, the way this is cooked does have a little bit more spiciness to it, but uh, I'll be honest with you, I believe this is the recipe, and if we could cook it in the same manner that KFC does, I believe it would be it. Could be wrong, I'll leave that wide open until uh, someone proves me wrong, but I'm standing behind it. This is the KFC recipe. One more bite, guys. I know KFC is not everybody's thing, but I happen to love KFC chicken. I don't get it off that often, but I do like it. And uh, done real well out here on the Weber kettle. It got dark on me. I hope the lighting was good. I set up some extra lights because we are at that time of the year where it gets dark early and it is what it is. Won't be long, it'll be too cold to cook outside. So we're, we're just happy we can get out there. So guys, thank you as always. Guys, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Hit like, that helps us out a lot. And hit that bell if you have not. Uh, that helps notify you when I post a new video. So guys, uh, thank you as always. And we will see you on the next cook. God bless you. Bye-bye.